Welcome friends, Ed Running Shoe Guy Bud here. Some extremely exciting running shoe releases coming out in the second half of this year. And so in today's video, I have my four most anticipated running shoe releases coming up in the second half of 2022. Thanks for joining me on the channel, it is always appreciated. Help us get to 30,000 subscribers by clicking that button below, but also click that bell below for notifications of when the new videos are released. Give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. Also, if you have a specific question on today's video or you just wanna help support the channel, hit us up with a super thanks on the icon just below. It really does help the channel out a huge amount, people. It keeps the shoes flowing in. First shoe up on today's most anticipated list of the rest of 2022 is the Nike Pegasus Turbo Next Nature. This was unveiled back in April of 2022. The Turbo Next Nature is one that I'm poised to pick up when it finally does drop. Seems like an absolute age since it first appeared and the images were leaked. Everybody's been waiting for this one to drop. I still don't have a specific release date. A big sustainable push on this model with apparently recycled materials to the quantity of 50% of the shoe's total weight. Fans' favorite flyknit yarn on the upper. And apparently that's 100% recycled, so I'm not sure where they're getting all this stuff from. Probably all the shoes that people send back that break after about a week. I'm kidding, don't get upset if you're a Nike fanboy or fangirl. People get very upset about these things. I have no specific allegiance. If a shoe's good, it's good. I don't care what brand is on it. Nike suggests runners have been asking for a versatile shoe with more cushion underfoot. That's nothing new really, is it? Everybody wants their shoe to be lighter but have more cushion. That's what people expect from the Pegasus model really, saying this very versatile one. I see this one perhaps fitting that mold. This new version could well be lighter and more nimble than the more refined Pegasus 39 that's just released. Well, it's been released here in the UK for a while, but only just over in America. Certainly one of my most anticipated speed clogs to come out in the latter part of 2022. But will it really be any different to the Streakfly? I mean, you've got virgin Zoom X material in that compared to this sort of recycled off cuts that you get in the Pegasus Turbo Next Nature. Is it going to be all that different? We'll soon find out. Vibrant Spring Glow with Victory Blue and Vibrant Apricot. A catchy colorway name, don't you think? The Fuel Cell Super Comp Trainer has finally dropped here in the UK. It's up on the New Balance website for 200 Earth credits. Ooh. I see this shoe as a competitor perhaps to the Adidas Adizero Prime X and you know that's a shoe that I really, really liked. The weight's perhaps a little bit more than I expected at 320 grams for the sample size. Now you've got a massive Zoom X foam here and an eight millimeter heel to toe drop. A shoe complete with the compulsory carbon plate, which certainly won't be race legal for elite runners, but you know, for hobbyists, shoe nerds, and casual cruisers, it's going to be absolutely fine. Considering the fun that I had in the Primax at the tail end of 2021, I think this one could be a really great shoe for me. I gave that shoe a massive score, I remember. I see this being a competitor, really, an alternative shoe if perhaps the Primax didn't work for you. Certainly see there's some potential in the Super Comp Trainer from New Balance. It's kind of like three of those fuel cell paces kind of stuck together literally. It does look like on the Supercomp Trainer that it is a stitchless upper, very similar to that that we saw on this shoe. There's a very unique midsole profile as well within this one. Absolutely a shoe of interest in the world of Ed Bud. I do think that New Balance need to rethink the naming convention though. It's very, very confusing. Next up is the Magic Speed 2 from ASICS. After my amplified love for the Metaspeed Sky Plus, there's a volley of ASIC shoes I'm really excited for, and here's one of them. The Magic Speed 2 does seem to be a trainer-like version of the Metaspeed Sky Plus, with soft yet responsive, durable yet malleable Flight Foam Blast Plus. I really enjoyed that material when it was utilized in the Nimbus 24. A race-like upper profile to this one, and the midsole profile looks very similar to the Metaspeed Sky Plus and the edge for that matter. This could be a wonderful shoe for giving me that feeling and fit of the Sky Plus, enabling me to save and savor those race shoes 
for the more high octane efforts. Hopefully ASICs will get the balance just right here in the Magic Speed 2. Though will it be a part plate in the mid to forefoot as per the Magic Speed original or a full length feature film underfoot? ASICs are really making moves right now on the swoosh and the stripes. I'm very pumped for the Paul Daniels of running shoes, the Magic Speed 2. Last one on today's list, quite possibly the most bonkers thing that I've seen in a long time. Some leaked photos from Source, sold by JC, is the Prime X2. Adidas created a brilliant running shoe in the original version of the Prime X. It's the Optimus Autobot of athletic apparatus. But now even more weight relieved with sections of the upper seemingly cut out, aka Air Jordan off-white style. Adidas have literally just cut pieces of it out. I mean, you could probably do that to your Prime X, couldn't you? So chop out a few pieces just here. I mean, do you really need that bit there? Could get rid of another bit just here. Why not just get rid of all of the upper? The midsole and outsole unit it do appear exactly the same as the original version of the Prime X, but the now updated and amended upper is clearly intended to further lower the weight of the shoe. Perhaps they're trying to bring it a little bit more in line with the Alphafly Next Percent. That falls a bit under 280 grams in my size, which is quite a bit lighter than the Prime X. I think my pair were about 302 grams, something like that. Not sure about this colorway though, it's a little bit too candy for me but it is absolutely a shoe that i'm excited to test out in the latter part of 2022 let's hope that adidas don't pump up the price further like they've done with the adios pro 3 the prime x was already quite an expensive shoe and i really hope that they don't push the price up despite the fact that they're giving us less shoe in terms of weight and upper though crazier things have happened over the last few years i don't think you can discount anything these days so that's my top four most anticipated shoes for the rest of 2022. Let me know what yours are down in the comments. Shoe check today, we are rocking the Nike Tailwinds. Beautiful blue and yellow colorway here. Very, very comfortable on foot as well, I have to say. I think they look really fetching with the brown work trousers. A musical interlude for you. After seeing Supergrass recently at Glastonbury, they had a fantastic performance there, full of all the hits, and they just sounded brilliant as well. They sounded better than ever, in fact. Fun and frolics at the weekend, it brought me back to the fantastic Supergrass track, All Right. It's one of those songs that it always brings a smile to your face. You got the driving pianos in there, some entertaining guitar riffs, and an all-round very catchy hook to the whole thing. I do like the parts prior to the chorus, they are a little bit kind of mysterious. They provide a little bit of a psychedelic, almost sort of sour tone, I suppose, before everything gets rebalanced and the chorus kicks in and you feel all right once again. A song that's not really aged as well. It could have been written yesterday, let alone back in the 90s. A fantastic tune from Supergrass, All Right. Thanks for tuning in, people. It's always appreciated. Help support the channel with a super thanks down below. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up, like, and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.